Eric, why don't you tell us now a little bit about how the G3 is programmed for an injector-based system like we have here, and we'll show a little bit about how that works. Okay. A typical injector system will consist of the pump, a vent valve, a bank of injectors, and a pressure switch. To program an injector-based system, I'm going to enter setup mode again, and I'm going to select P1 for the first sensor input. Does P1 um, stand for anything? It stands for pressure. Okay. I'm going to leave the other two inputs off. I'm going to leave the on to on slash monitor time to its default value of one minute. And I'm going to leave all the other settings to their default values. Okay. I'm going to initiate a loop cycle by pressing the manual run button. So you can see the pump begins pumping and it begins to develop pressure in the system. And so it's counting down from one minute right now until what the pressure occurs or it finds that pressure correct it'll count down for one minute if the if the one minute expires before the pressure is achieved the unit will enter a fault mode okay you can see all the injectors are firing right now yeah so the pins are moving up and down here correct and you can see that the pressure switch triggered because the system achieved its desired pressure, pressure. Mm -hmm. the pump initiated the vent valve okay and right now the three lights are blinking on the sensor input inputs to designate that the vent valve is operating right now. Okay. So it's venting back to the pump? Correct. 